China's growing reliance on debt has spooked investors, prompting an exodus from the country. Mounting concerns about the sustainability of its debt fueled growth have created a climate of uncertainty. As financial tensions escalate, will China manage to regain investor trust or face a turbulent economic downturn? Moody's recent downgrade of China's credit rating has significantly impacted the Chinese economy. This credit rating reduction reflects concerns about the nation's economic outlook and financial stability, influencing investor confidence and potentially increasing borrowing costs for the Chinese government and businesses. The downgrade suggests heightened risks related to China's debt levels, structural challenges and the overall economic landscape. As a result, foreign investors may become more cautious about investing in Chinese assets, leading to capital outflows and a depreciation of the Chinese yuan and a depreciation of the Chinese yuan. The negative impact on the economy is compounded by the potential difficulty in obtaining affordable financing, hindering the country's ability to spur economic growth. The development underscores the interconnectedness of global financial markets and the profound consequences that credit rating changes have on a nation's economic prospects. Beijing is actively downplaying the recent economic downgrade, steadfastly asserting confidence in the enduring stability and long-term development of China's economy. Despite the setback, Chinese authorities remain resolute in their commitment to navigating challenges and implementing strategic measures to ensure sustained growth. The government's confidence is grounded in the nation's robust economic fundamentals, resilient infrastructure and proactive policies geared towards fostering innovation and domestic consumption. Emphasizing a comprehensive and forward-looking approach, Beijing aims to reassure both domestic and international stakeholders, highlighting its ability to adapt to evolving global economic dynamics. By projecting an optimistic outlook, China seeks to instill trust in its economic resilience, signaling to investors and the public alike that the downturn is a temporary hiccup in the broader trajectory of the nation's flourishing economic landscape. Investors are showing heightened sensitivity to the recent Moody's report, triggering a widespread sell-off in Hong Kong and a notable correction in global equity markets. The market downturn is a direct response to the report's findings, which appear to have unsettled investor confidence. The mass sell-off in Hong Kong suggests a wave of concern among market participants, leading to a shift in asset positions and a rush to liquidate holdings. This significant correction in equity markets reflects the rapid and widespread impact of the Moody's report on investment sentiment. As investors react strongly to the information presented in the report, the financial landscape is experiencing increased volatility, with market participants closely monitoring developments and adjusting their strategies accordingly. China's yuan has experienced a decline in value, prompting intervention from the Chinese government. To counter the depreciation, China has strategically engaged in selling US dollars while concurrently purchasing yuan from foreign exchanges. This intervention aims to bolster the yuan's strength, ensuring stability and the country's currency. Such measures are often implemented to maintain a competitive edge in the international trade, as a weaker currency can make exports more attractive. The Chinese government's decision to sell US dollars indicates a proactive approach to managing its currency's value and prompting economic stability. This strategic maneuver reflects China's commitment to maintaining control over its currency's exchange rate and safeguarding its economic interests on the global stage. China's export data for November brought a glimmer of economic optimism amidst persistent challenges. The nation reported a notable rebound, showcasing growth for the first time in six months, despite the ongoing economic uncertainties. This positive development underscores China's resilience in navigating global economic headwinds. The export sector, a crucial driver of the country's economy, demonstrated a commendable recovery, defying earlier contraction trends. This upturn is likely attributed to various factors, such as improved global demand, 
strategic economic policies and ongoing efforts to boost trade. China's ability to achieve export growth amid adverse conditions reflects its adaptability and the effectiveness of policy makers and the effectiveness of policy measures implemented to mitigate challenges. As the nation continues to grapple with economic complexities, the positive export performance in November serves as a promising indicator of potential stability and recovery in the broader economic landscape. Moody's recent report underscores persistent appreciations regarding fundamental challenges within China's economic framework. The findings validate long-standing concerns about structural issues that may impede sustainable growth. Key indicators within the report illuminate potential vulnerabilities in China's economic landscape, raising alarms about the need for comprehensive reforms. From mounting debt levels to regulatory uncertainties, the report emphasizes the significance of addressing these underlying issues to ensure a resilient and balanced economic future. Investors and policymakers alike are urged to consider the implications of these identified challenges, fostering a proactive approach in navigating potential risks. Moody's assessment adds weight to existing worries, prompting a critical examination of the essential economic foundations. With a call for strategic measures to fortify the stability and vitality of China's economy in the long term, Moody's officials face a trust crisis as reports suggest they opted to work from home to evade potential government reprisals. This situation underscores growing concerns about the independence and impartiality of financial institutions. The decision to operate remotely raises questions about the transparency of their assessments and the ability to withstand external pressures. Trust in the accuracy and objectivity of Moody's ratings is pivotal for informed decision-making in the financial sector. The move to avoid potential government backlash fuels skepticism as stakeholders may question whether the organization is succumbing to external influence. Rebuilding trust is imperative for Moody's to regain credibility and assure market participants that their evaluations are free from external interference. Emphasizing the importance of maintaining a robust and unbiased financial rating system, Chinese authorities have intensified efforts to suppress criticism of the country's economy by conducting raids and detaining staff from foreign companies that express dissenting views. This crackdown is part of a broader strategy aimed at controlling the narrative surrounding China's economic performance. The government seeks to restrict the flow of accurate data and tighten its grip on information dissemination, preventing unfavorable perspectives from gaining traction. By silencing critics, China aims to project a positive image and maintain a unified narrative about its economic successes. This approach, however, raises concerns about transparency, freedom of expression, and the ability to assess the true state of the Chinese economy. The government's actions underscore the challenges associated with balancing economic control and the openness necessary for a comprehensive understanding of a nation's economic landscape. China is currently grappling with a severe crash crunch as cities, as cities and provinces face challenges in servicing trillions of dollars in debt. This financial strain has created widespread economic concerns throughout the country. Local governments are struggling to meet their debt obligations, leading to a precarious situation that has implications for the overall stability of the Chinese economy. The cash crunch is particularly evident as various regions are finding it increasingly difficult to manage their financial responsibilities. This crisis has prompted a closer examination of China's economic policies and fiscal management with efforts underway to address the root cause of the debt burden. The outcome of these developments will likely play a significant role in shaping the economic landscape of China in the coming months. 
Chinese local governments are grappling with a significant debt burden, estimated to be 7 to 11 trillion dollars, and about 1 trillion of this is characterized as high risk. This financial challenge poses concerns for economic stability and raises questions about the sustainability of local governance. The debt issue stems from the rapid urbanization and infrastructure development in China, where local authorities have borrowed extensively to fund ambitious projects. The central government is implementing, has implemented measures to address the situation, including debt swaps and stricter regulations on local borrowing. However, the scale of the debt remains a key economic challenge, requiring ongoing efforts to manage the mitigate, to manage and mitigate potential risks to ensure a stable economic future for China. In response to a financial crunch, China has adopted a strategy of issuing additional debt to alleviate economic pressures. The country is navigating economic challenges by engaging in unprecedented special bond sales to raise substantial funds. This approach allows the Chinese government to inject liquidity into the economy and support various sectors experiencing financial strain. By issuing these special bonds, China aims to stimulate economic growth, fund essential projects, and maintain stability in the face of economic uncertainties. The increased issuance of debt reflects a proactive measure to address financial constraints, demonstrating the government's commitment to sustaining economic vitality. This financial strategy aligns with China's broader economic policies showcasing a dynamic response to emerging fiscal challenges and a commitment to ensuring the resilience of the nation's financial system. China's financial framework could unleash a substantial storm of economic repercussions. Such a default has the potential to transcend national borders, causing widespread disturbances in the global financial landscape. The interconnectedness of the international financial system implies that a financial disturbance in China could have far-reaching consequences, impacting economies worldwide. The fragility of China's financial system underscores the need for careful monitoring and risk management to prevent a cascading effect that could disrupt the delicate balance of the global economic order. In conclusion, China's reliance on debt poses significant economic challenges, affecting investor confidence and global markets. The nation's response, including issuing more debt, reflects its commitment to stability, stay informed on economic developments, like, share and subscribe for regular updates.